The ancient technology we chose to replicate was the hodometer. This device was used to measure the distance traveled. In modern times, this instrument is still widely used in cars as well as bikes as digital odometers. The first known record to discuss the hodometer uh, is Vitruvius, who offers a detailed description of the ancient machine around 27 BCE. It's believed, however, that Archimedes of Syracuse, who was alive from 287 to 212 BC, was the true inventor around the time of the First Punic War, suggesting that the hodometer was invented prior to Vitruvius' time and was actually used for military reasons. For example, it can be useful to know the distance that reigns from you and your cart to an enemy camp. It's also used in accounts of war. Some authors describe the distances of routes traveled by Alexander the Great during his conquest to great precision. This must mean that his bematists, who measured distances, used hodometers to calculate them. The device was designed for chariots, used to determine how far the vehicle had traveled. By Vitruvius's description, the machine consists of a series of drums, otherwise known as gears, with varying numbers of teeth, which are rotated by the forward motion of the chariot. The final drum has 400 teeth. Holes in the final drum each contain a pebble, which were pushed one by one by the gear into a single hole in the frame of the drum to later be counted. When the first drum turns 400 times, the final drum has rotated once, which was indication that a distance of one mile was traveled. The total number of pebbles collected signified the total distance traveled by the vehicle. For our model, we created a miniature cart and odometer all out of cardboard and popsicle sticks as well as hot glue. After creating the initial cart frame, we created four individual gears. Now this makes our model obviously an oversimplification of the ancient hodometer in a few ways. Most of the hodometers are bigger, more spacious, used metal, had more gears, and those gears had more teeth. 400 teeth compared to our 7 to 10. We decided to create a simpler model. Because of our size and gear constraints, our hodometer does not measure the same distance in Roman miles as the real ones do, but instead measures just a few feet. This would be very easy to extend, however, by adding more gears with fewer teeth that would have to turn before the final one could, something that was used in later editions of the hodometers. A flap on the axle, what Vitruvius describes as a drum with a single tooth of the cart's wheels, function to turn the initial gear, which is connected by another axle to the second gear. This gear then turns a third gear, which is connected again by axle to a final gear on top of the model, located on a platform containing pebbles between each tooth. We use this last gear identically as Vitruvius describes his final drum, with enough holes for however many miles the journey will last. With every turn, a pebble is pushed by the tooth and then falls into the lower platform through the hole one by one. By creating the model, we developed a greater understanding of Vitruvius's initial description of the device. While diagram illustrations of his text can help significantly in our ability to understand the functioning of the ancient odometer and how it was constructed, building it ourselves gave us a much greater appreciation for the simplicity of the design and its efficacy. The model itself required very few parts to construct, a testament to the simplistic design of the machine. Despite having such a simple design, however, the odometer is quite elaborate when you consider the precision behind the gears in the number of teeth and their spacing in order to exactly measure one mile in one turn of the final drum. Because the focus of this final project was to learn more about the functioning of an ancient machine by making it ourselves, uh, we made a model with practical use that we found very, very difficult to do due to the materials that we had attempted to use. We had discussed material properties in class during the building unit, such as tension and compression, and these properties played a huge role here. It is extremely difficult to build a functional gear system out of cardboard and other similar paper products, as their tensile strength is very, very poor, something that is very, very important in gears. One of our biggest struggles, for example, was how often cardboard would rather bend than turn other gears, or how glue would weaken and things would snap. This really gave us an appreciation for the technological requirements of the invention, such as um, this device or any intricate gear system. The adoption of very fine and controlled metalwork with strong gears, small teeth, are absolutely a prerequisite for an invention like this, especially in a to-scale model with heavier weights. 
Creating the model allowed us to reflect on the importance of such a device, our knowledge of distances between places having a critical role in our daily lives, in how we schedule our time and conduct our travel. While the odometer served as a creative and effective solution to measuring distances, it is evident why it is so widely adopted by both the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans. The technology revolutionized how roads were built, as well as travel, with milestones set at specific distances. In turn, this aided in the expansion of empires and bolstered their economic standing.